Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today is November 10th. Can you believe that? The 10th already of 2020. And today we are going to continue on with our study of graphs and measurement. It's going to be exciting. Okay, and so we have been talking about different kinds of graphs. We've been looking at vertical and horizontal. Remember, vertical, think up and down, think horizontal, side to side. Okay, super important to understand the difference between those two. Vertical, up and down, horizontal, side to side. If you need a hint on how to remember, think of horizon, which is the where the sky meets the earth, right? So you can, when, if you like looking out over the ocean, you can see that line that goes all the way across. That's called the horizon. That's hor, hori, right? So horizontal, think horizon, horizontal. Vertical, up and down, horizontal, side to side. Okay. So today we are going to be continuing our study with lesson 12. And we get up our paper here. There we go. And so we have horizontal bar graphs with multi-digit numbers. And so really what we've been doing so far has been fairly simple. Okay. Five of this, eight of that. In life... Uh, usually that's not how it's going to be, of course. It's going to be much more um, complicated, we'll say. And so we're going to have a little practice with things that are slightly more complicated. Uh, I didn't say hard. I just said more complicated, okay? So let's look here. We are on page 207 of your student activity book. That's the fatter one of the two. You know, I like to call it the fat math book, right? So it's that one. Okay, so we have the horizontal bar graph with multi-digit numbers. If you do not have it in front of you, stop the video and go get it, please. Okay, it's very important that you're following along with us so that you can submit these um, pages with your um, assignment. All right, so here we have some names. Does it matter that maybe we don't know some of these? No, it does not matter, okay? So you just ignore it. You can think of it as A, J, S, and B. Who cares, okay? So don't let that throw you off. Same with word problems. Don't get stuck on the names. Get stuck on the, what they're talking about, right? Okay, so we, here we have, we have the spring trip. So we know how many miles did Shahid drive? So we find Shahid, right? The process is exactly the same as what we did yesterday. There's nothing different today than what we've been doing. Okay, so that should um, make you rest easy. Okay, the only difference is that the numbers are bigger. And so we come here to Shahid, we still go to where the line is, and these are all still end on the line. So that's great. And we see that it is how many miles? 250 miles. So we come over here and we write on the line, how many miles did Shahid drive? And it is 250 miles. How did I find that again? I looked here on the bar and I saw where the bar ended and that was at 250. Can I just write 250? No, I need to write 250 miles, okay? Who drove 100 miles farther than Barbara? So I have to find Barbara. So here's Barbara, here is that line, 100 miles, okay? Now, each one of these bars is worth how much? 50, right? Now on these, there's not a key. You just have to look. But you will also notice that they always are the same. So if the first space between the first and the, or the beginning and the first line is 50, all the spaces between the line are gonna be 50. They're not gonna do 50 here, 100 here, 600 here, 200 here. No, it'd be way too confusing. We would never figure it out. So once they've established that this, this space right here is 50, the distance between every single one of those lines is gonna be 50 whatever it is that they're talking about. In this particular case, we're talking about miles, right? So we have 200 miles. So I need 100 more than that. How many lines is that going to be? Some people are immediately like, ooh, Shahid, Shahid, Shahid. No, he rode only 250 miles. We're looking for 100 more, right? So 100 more than 200 is going to be 300. So I come and find who has 300. Oh, Aaron has 300. So I will write here on this line, Aaron, because Aaron is the one who did 100 more miles than Barbara. 
Okay, so now we're going to do some math. Okay, is how many more miles did Aaron and Barbara combine to drive than Jing? So I have to find Aaron and Barbara. So Aaron is 300, right? Barbara is 200. And for, so for then, I have to find out how much they drove together. So they drove 500 together, right? Now, Dan Jing. So Jing is the one I'm going to subtract. Jing drove 350. So horrible looking five. So what is 500 minus 350? Right, so zero, four, 10 minus five is five, four minus three is 150, right? So 150. miles. Okay. So what I would like you to do right now is you're going to do number five uh, by yourself in just a moment and then uh, we will go through the answer. So go do that right now. Pause the video please and um, do number five and then come back and listen to see what the answer is. Okay, hopefully you stopped the video. Um, how many fewer miles did Barbara drive than Jinx? We find Barbara, 200, right? So when he wants fewer, then we know that's gonna be subtraction, right? So we basically you're finding how much less miles did Barbara drive than Jing. Now, I'm gonna look at the numbers. I have uh, 350 and 200. I'm not gonna go 200 minus 350. It has to be 350 minus 200, right? How many miles? 150 fewer I should turn on the text feature. Oh well. All right, 150 fewer miles. All right, so write another equation that can be answered by using the graph. Now, so this one is easy. You just have to look at the graph and you have to come up with a question. First of all, this is going to be your secret question of the day. So you're going to put this on the wall in the comment section. But um, so we're going to so we have to look at the ones they already did. So we have a couple choices like how many more you can do, how many more miles you can add to and compare. You can um, whatever, right? So I'm going to do. Um, did Aaron. and Shahid, okay? Now, I did this one, so that means you can't copy, okay? This is the one I'm doing. And so then, so then I have that, so I have how many more miles did Aaron drive than Shahid, and I have to solve it. I have to go, Aaron drove how many? 300. How many did um, Shahid drive? 250, what's the difference? 50, right? So 50 miles would be my answer. All right, so that's basically what we're doing on this page. If you need to hear anything again, that's great. You can do that. Just rewind the video and uh, go for it. All right, so now we have vertical bar graphs. Now we've been doing horizontal, right? This is going side to side. Now we're going to try one that's going up and down. Remember, the only difference between the two is the fact that they're going a different direction. There is no other difference. Okay. So again, we ask ourselves, how many cans of peas are at Turner's Market? Here's peas. 
how many? 400, okay? So it's the same process. So what you're gonna do right now is I want you to practice. So you're gonna turn this off, the video off. Go ahead and do this page. Um, number 12 is one that you're gonna be prepared to share in class on Thursday. So make sure you have that ready. And the answers for seven through 11 will be on um, in this assignment. So you'll look at that sheet for the answers. Now, obviously you're gonna do this first and then go look at the sheet. Now, there's gonna be some of you who are just gonna look at the sheet. But my question for you is what are you gonna do on the test? This doesn't count, really. I mean, we want you to do it, obviously. You get credit for doing it. But if you're gonna make a mistake because you don't understand, you really should do it now. If you wait until the test to be confused, then you're gonna get it wrong on the test and your grade is gonna go down. So I really would encourage you to please um, take this seriously and let's do this correctly, okay? So do not go look at the answers and then just copy them down because it doesn't do any good, okay? If I see any down here that say answers will vary, I'll know exactly what you did. All right, and notice we have this one here in the middle. Remember yesterday we talked about the one in the middle? What does that mean? It means it's half. So if this right here is six, worth 100, how much is this going to be equal? It's going to be equal 50, right? So that should help you. So you're going to look at the answers. After you're done, check your answers with the sheet in the assignment. Okay? We are going to move on, however. Going on to creating bar graphs. Okay? And then we will be solving some more here at the end. Okay, just give you a kind of an idea of what we're doing. So use the information in this table to make a horizontal bar graph, meaning going from side to side. A lot of people like to just jump in. I would encourage us, we need to look at the numbers that we have to deal with. We have a 20, we have a 35, and we have a 60. We have to look at our space, right? Ooh, I'm gonna do it by twos. Great, do you have enough space for that? No, okay. I'm not even positive that okay, one choice would be fives, right? Because we see 35. But we see have one, two, three. We don't really even have enough for that. Okay, because we're going to run out for 60. So what does that mean? Throw it in the trash. No, we can't do that either. Okay, we have to look at another number. Now, I suppose I could do like 12 or some weird number, but we're not going to do that either. We're going to do by 10 because we can see here that 10 really does go in all of them. This just means we need to do one of those that's in the half, right? So that's kind of easy. So we have Joe's C CD collection, right? So first, we're gonna do some labeling. So up here at the top, we know that that's Joe's DVD collection. So I'm, I would write that there. Over here, and I can't really, can I do that? And we'll see, but here we have right now you would probably not write it quite like this uh, I can't even move it so it's gonna be stuck like that kind of weird but anyways that's what the word is gonna go here and then what what goes on the bottom the number of DVDs, right so he has a lot of DVDs right They're apparently really loves comedy since he has 60 of them so then I need to write these here. So we have comedy. Now you're writing the entire word, okay? Action and drama. You know how long it takes me to write. So, so I'm just gonna do the first letter, but you guys using your pencil should be able to um, be fine. Okay, so then I have to divide up my numbers. We decided we're gonna go by 10, right? So it's 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, it's getting hard to do, 60. Why well, don't need any more? Yeah, you still have to go all the way to the end. 70, 80. And I know that all of yours will be neater than mine, thankfully. Okay, so then I look here at comedy. OK, 
Okay, so comedy has how many? 60. So I find 60, which is right here. And I draw it. Now you're going to do it nice and neat. And it needs to be a bar. Okay. I didn't take my line and go, okay, here we go. I'm done. No, it needs to be exactly. And even that, honestly, I'm going to need to redo both of those. Nope, not that one, though. Because it's a. Uh, it needs to be in right on that line, right? We need to be super careful. Kind of hard to do with the computer, but let's see if I can do better. Let's see. Oh, there we go. And ooh, there we go. That's nice. Okay. 60. That right there is comedy. Then I come here to drama, the other easy one, right? So drama is 20. Same thing. Start here, go across. Now, the one that's going to be not hard, but we'll say more complicated, is the action, right? 35. So you find. 30 and 40, it has to be right in the middle, right? And there we go. Perfect. So this is what yours should look like. Underneath for number 14, you will see another um, one that guess who's going to do that. You got it. It's going to be you. So you're going to complete number 14 on your own. Again, I will have the answer in the the um, opening um, or not the assignment so you can check it out but uh please do this first you don't need to be um just copying okay every single person in this class is too smart to be doing that all right then we have our um last page so these are just bigger numbers okay and honestly, um, I believe you could do this. So I'm going to put, uh, this is no different than the ones we did up here. Okay, that's basically exactly the same thing. Just a few more options, okay? Because we have August, July, June, and May. So we have four lines instead of only three, and the numbers go up to 450. Again, you're going to look at numbers, compare, Sometimes you'll have to add more than one together, right? Like here's how many visitors in month of May and June combined, combined, think plus. How many more visitors in July than August, think subtraction. Here's one that, how many more visitors in June or in May and August. So that means you have to add May and August and subtract from June. Okay, and then you're gonna write another question on your own. These answers will also be, so you're gonna have Basically, the answers in the um, in the, the folder or in the assignment, but I know that you guys can do this. Okay, so super important that you uh, take your time, work hard on that, and uh, get ready uh, for that. Okay, this is an easy lesson if you just do one thing at a time. So focus, do your best work, and then make sure you turn it in. And by taking a picture. I'm still surprised on how many students are not doing that. So it's a little tiny bit important that you do. All right. Thank you very much and have a good rest of the day. And remember, uh, we will not be seeing you tomorrow. I know that's super sad. Tomorrow is a day off. So enjoy uh, time with your family or whatever it is that you're doing. Try not to uh, pass out from too much video gaming. Uh, keep yourself healthy, drink lots of water, get some movement. Um, okay. All right, thank you. And don't forget our secret question of the day. Make sure you put that in the comments. Thank you.